Tawadira Tukon. Je m'appelle Axel and I'm a French woman living in Bangkok, Thailand. Today, special video. I asked you a few months ago to send me your best questions and today I'm gonna answer them. But not in here. I'm taking you to a very special place. Actually, a place I've never been to. So yeah, I'm just taking you with me. Let's go! <laughs> I'm a bit underexposed, but it's gonna be fine. So I, this is the calmest place I've ever seen in Bangkok, but it is so hot here. So hot, so humid. I am sweating my ass off and I have my Tai Chi. Let's get to it, bitches. If you could make up your own plot storyline for a BL or a GL, what would it be? And what kind of characters would be in it? So this is a really good question. So I actually want to get into screenwriting. And at the moment, I actually have over 20 uh, series ideas right in my head but there are two that i really want to develop into a script and one of them is not really a bl it has a lot of queer characters but it's not really a bl and another one is a gl for bl honestly i'm open to anything i just want to see more mature and not in the sense more sexual more explicit just i want to see older characters i want to see a diversity of age as well so i would love an office like thai office bl like we've seen in japan um and like just adult men or like even just really really like a retired man or something like this for a gl i feel like since we haven't had at all any series i feel like it's more open so i feel like just start with the basics so just like a high school a romance which is what i'm writing but like with the script that i want to write is more complex than that i guess so that's what i want to see but honestly i'm open to anything just like deep complex plot i'm tired of basic shit was it hard to make friends and meet people not really actually i thought it would be much harder please can the bird stop i thought it would be much harder than this actually because i honestly didn't expect to make so many friends already but bumble bff really helped me and i've met so many great people i mean one of them did ghost me out of nowhere but you know in general most people are really nice do you feel very out of place for not being Thai or are there a lot of other foreigners where you live? So there are foreigners, quite a bit of them in Bangkok, but in general like it is very much like mostly Thai people, right? But also uh, I don't feel that much out of place to be honest. I feel like I fit into like Thai culture pretty easily because I've been observing it for five years and of also I've come to Thailand before the only thing is the stairs the stairs like Thai people stare at me a lot and it is a bit uh, annoying <laughs> to be honest because sometimes I just want to live my life and feel like I belong and not be like oh this tall foreigner with blue hair and like everyone is staring at me does that make sense what has been the highlight of moving to Thailand so far I don't have one highlight, but my super recent trip to Chiang Mai, I literally came back from it literally three days ago, was a really, really great moment. It was absolutely incredible. Uh, I partied all night. I think I will make a video about it. If I make a video about my craziest moments in Thailand, this will definitely be one of them. But basically, I partied all night and uh, at 6 a.m. we went to the Doi Su Teps, which is like the biggest temple in Chiang Mai and it's in the mountain. And it was absolutely incredible to like I was still completely fucking drunk, hungover, but to go there, there was fog everywhere, like absolutely beautiful, only us in the temple, like truly amazing, truly a surreal experience that I will remember forever. In your opinion, which are the series that portray the LGBT plus community better? I think it's very subjective, right? Like I think different scenes will talk to different people. For me, like my favorite LGBT scene of all time will be and 
probably forever be the not me one the flaxine simply because it's so understated yet it was the first time i saw the aspect of celebration and community being shown in a pl usually it's more like acceptance but there it was really just celebration and community and it was absolutely beautiful there was no coming out nothing no drama just like pure happiness and this scene like truly made me so affirmed and so happy and i absolutely adore this scene like genuinely forever one of the best scenes in existence also uh, i think you all know that uh, i told so said about you for sure is incredible and ted the portrayal of there was really important for me as a bisexual character and so yeah but there are also other shows for example he's coming to me with the coming out scene or even just great men academy with the character of tengmo i think these are portrayals of lgbt q plus characters that I th find really interesting and really important uh, in their time. Are you planning to visit the I told Sunset About You locations in Phuket? Ah, uh, duh! <laughs> like, it's my favorite series, of course. Honestly, I never wanted to go to Phuket until this series happened, and now I have to. I think I'll go there only one day just to go all the, see all the locations, because apparently, like, everyone I've met that has gone to Phuket doesn't like it, feels like it's too touristic, too scammy, too, like, too much. Is there something you didn't expect from living in Thailand after a while, or is your experience exactly what you wishes it to be um obviously my experience is not gonna be the same right but in many ways it's been better <laughs> yeah it has been mostly better i didn't expect to make so many friends i thought that experience would be much lonelier i was expecting to go clubbing alone to go to bars alone to go basically do everything alone and in the end it's really not what's happening i've really managed to make meaningful connections with others which has been something i've been striving for for literally my whole life so uh for me it has been better in most aspects uh, one of the things i didn't expect was the fucking immigration the visa oh my god so annoying i mean i did expect it because just choosing my first visa to come here when i came here in may was already such like a struggle i had to google everything on the internet and no answer anywhere like super annoying right but it's gotten worse it's gotten worse like my only problem here in thailand my life is so good but my only problem is genuinely the visa stuff like this is my only problem here have you found people that speak french or are from france in thailand so i have actually just right now i'm talking with a french girl on bumble bff so i have found definitely french people and i've also i have one, one of my friends can speak french and i had this really surreal moment actually in bangkok we were at his apartment with another girl who's from spain so he starts speaking french because he studied french and she starts speaking french and so i was speaking french and it felt so surreal because it was my first time in like two or three months in Bangkok that I was actually speaking French with people and I loved it I was like so happy you know I really don't miss Paris but somehow when I hear French when I speak French with people here it does make me feel nostalgic uh, what is your favorite Thai dish oh just one so I would say for salty I just love khao soi which is the traditional northern dish it's just so savory so like so much flavor i don't know how they do it it's so 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 good and in dessert i love of course mango sticky rice or this dish called dualoi which is like so so cute like not only is it the like prettiest dessert i've ever seen but it's also fucking delicious i could eat it every day wouldn't be healthy but i love it about living in thailand have you been able to practice speaking thai with people there i have so basically i almost always speak Thai. I mean, I try to. And actually, when I was in Chiang Mai, I've never spoken more Thai with people. And I've gotten so many compliments of Thai people telling me I have a good accent. So it really has boosted up my confidence because I'm really not confident in Thai at all. So how I've been progressing? Actually, not that much, to be honest. I think maybe my accent and my fluidity, like I'm able to talk more easily, I would say. But in general, I feel like I'm not progressing enough because obviously I used to have class every week now i don't so in a way i feel like in terms of fluency i'm getting better but in terms of vocabulary uh, verbs things like this i'm really not so if i remember correctly you said you were gonna look for a job there so how is the job searching experience as a foreigner yeah so um <laughs> that didn't actually end up happening uh, i think it's easier to find a job and come to thailand once you have a job uh, i feel like searching a job in thailand is a bit complicated but also i haven't been searching that seriously because i want to keep traveling and if i get a full-time job which is most of the offers it's gonna be impossible for me to keep traveling so this is not a question i'm gonna just read what this person said 
It's hard enough for me to make new friends in Thailand, even though it's a country where people are quite friendly. I want your advice on how to actually survive with having new friends in foreign countries, specific to Europe. I went to Switzerland once and found it impossible for me to fit in. With different financial positions, culture, mindset, language, etc., appearance is also my big insecurity. I will have to face that again in the future for a lifetime, and I'm very worried if I will be able to overcome those hardships. For me, insecurity, confidence changes everything for real so i'm a plus size woman and obviously it does affect how people perceive me people perceive me to be less competent less desirable less in less in every capacity right but the thing is i know i'm not less i'm not i'm the baddest bitch in the game you know and that thing um the, the the process of thinking that took me years took me actually all of my teen years to gain that confidence and now it's only in my 20s that i've started really loving myself and seeing myself for who i am which is again the baddest bitch uh, and also you need to find people who are open-minded right because obviously if those people are not willing to understand that you come from a different culture so you are obviously gonna have a different mindset then those people are not worth it so i think you just need to surround yourself with people who are as open-minded as you but also i think confidence really does change a lot and i think the right people will come i know it's hard I've struggled in my friendships for so long and it's only now that I'm feeling satisfied that I'm meeting as many people as I've always wanted to that I'm doing as much cool shit as I wanted to so Susunaha you can do it and I'm with you on that editing Axel here I also wanted to add something else friendships are like plants you need to feed them water uh, and each friendship is very much different so you really need to cultivate your friendships especially as a foreigner because often locals will only see you as someone who's gonna go back to their country eventually so that's why sometimes they don't even bother to create a link and a connection with you so you gotta be the one who takes the initiative you have to not be afraid of coming off as desperate even though it's hard and of course after a while the friendship needs to be balanced but in the beginning really don't be afraid to take control of the friendship and to show them that you want to see them again and again and again to create a real friendship you need to show them that you are going to be a valuable friend even if you might move out in a year or two years or not even six months sometimes what are three things that could perfectly encapsulate your experience in thailand so three things what three things three places three food three moments you know what I'm gonna go with three words so the first one will be freedom because I've never been more free I've waited so long to move out of my parents house because in Paris rent is so fucking crazy and finally I'm living alone and it's amazing it's better than I ever anticipated and the second one will be connection so as I said I'm finally having those friendships and and really strong connections with people and it's really really important and the third one will be definitely growth because I think I've been here for four months now and I think I'm a completely different person in a way I'm on the road to fully adulting will you do vlogs about your visits to Thailand beaches if you do visit so as I said I really uh, I'm planning on making a video on the I told and set about you locations not necessarily vlogs I think vlogs can be kind of boring don't kill me if you like vlogs but I think like I like vlogs that have like a purpose so oh i went to this specific location or oh i tested this specific food right the only vlog i'm planning to do is like one day in my life or one week in my life in thailand but that's kind of the only vlogs i'm planning to. in general i prefer to have a video with like a strong team which differences cultural or otherwise between living in france and living in thailand were the most difficult for you and why so actually i haven't had that many culture shocks i will do a full video on the culture shocks have i've had here to be honest i really do don't have that many because uh, once again I've, I had already been to Thailand before and I've been such a fan of, of Thai culture once again I think the biggest culture shock is just people staring at me all the time I feel like it already happened in France but here it's like worse which are you enjoying the most just the ease of life the ease of life I feel like here people don't complicate things that don't need to be complicated in France I feel like we are always just 
uh, complicating things for no fucking reason and it's so annoying um, and here I just feel like calmer I feel chiller I feel like I can, I can actually enjoy my life and not rush from one thing to the other all the time so yeah for me that's definitely the biggest aspect what is your Thai language level and how easy or difficult is it to understand and communicate in real life situations with that level so I would say I'm uh, intermediate in the sense I, I would say I understand maybe 65-70% of Thai especially day-to-day -day Thai I can understand pretty well for talking I think I can talk up to 30-40% where have you been so far and which places would you recommend to include for those of us who want to travel to Thailand so in this trip I've been to Pattaya to Chiang Mai, Chiang Rai, Bang San for today so, and Bali but the Bali is not in Thailand so yeah that's where I've been I've also been in my precedent trip uh, three years ago I've also been to Ayutthaya so for me uh, the north is a must especially if you come in December like most people do the weather is better uh, the food is great that's where the Khao Soi is from and it's just like such a chill vibe it's really really nice the temples there are gorgeous Ayutthaya is really nice I would suggest to like take a boat only for one day like do a tour even though it's more expensive uh, but yeah just one day is enough for there and that is nice but if you go to the south I don't think it's necessary to go there and most importantly how are you doing you are so sweet uh, I'm doing great truly right now I'm in such a good mood after like a couple of mm, meh weeks in a way but my my trip to Chiang Rai and Chiang Mai like really changed me and now I'm like in such a good mood so chill I'm in a park that looks kind of like Central Park in New York like kind of um, and just like enjoying life three questions your favorite Kin Porsche couple so I haven't watched Kin Porsche I keep saying it apparently people are not getting the memo yes I haven't watched it yet <gasps> gasp how how can I do this? Oh uh, yes, I haven't watched it because I was still in my not me feelings. I didn't want to watch any like deep and intense shows in a way. And now there's all of these allegations coming out from about this show, and I'm like, mm, do I want to support this show? And now there's gonna be second season, and you all know how much I hate second seasons. So I'm just like, right now I'm not really sure I'm gonna ever watch the show. I know people are gonna be, uh, people are gonna kill me. Best reply for LGBTQ plus haters. To be honest. I don't think we need to waste our time replying like I'm sorry uh, it depends on the context of course but in general I feel like at some point if you're gonna just like hate us go hate us in private at this point like I don't have energy to focus on haters and that's not only on LGBTA haters like any haters please just go away have you attended a Thai wedding? It's very similar to Indian rituals. No, but my dream is to attend a Thai wedding. Maybe mine. No, I'm kidding. Honestly, my dream is to attend. Like, I know Thai weddings are so beautiful. I'm obsessed with Thai traditional costumes. And so, yeah, uh, it would be my dream to attend. But also, I'm young. I don't have older friends who are getting married. But honestly, if anyone wants to invite me to their wedding, like, let's go, bitches. Let's go. What are your favorite ship dynamics? Like, there are certain dynamics that I love more than others. The first that comes to mind is best friend to lovers. Like, this, that shit hits me every time. That shit just hits me in the straight in the heart, right? But in general, I think it has most to do with the writing of the series and the chemistry the acting and then the actual trope doesn't quite matter I've liked many different uh, ships dynamics for me it really has to do with chemistry and also with the building up of trust I like ships that really you can see them slowly falling in love together is it harder to speak Thai or write it obviously write it the Thai alphabet is hell so I'm able to read the letters and certain words but it takes forever genuinely the Thai alphabet I've never seen like I thought French rules were complicated right turns out that Thai alphabet is legitimately much worse it's too much I don't think I'll ever be fluent in the Thai alphabet or at least not before like maybe three to five years when actors or Thai entertainers do Thai play on words do you understand it ah uh, no I don't I don't know the Thai play I mean some of them I can understand it most of them I have haven't because it's always a vocabulary I don't necessarily know and it's really really complicated but I feel like the day I understand actually the play on words is the day I will be truly fluent in Thai so that was it for today's video oh my god oh my goodness I have done so yeah I hope you enjoyed this video I'll see you later and have a great day <music>